Fears that the Syrian conflict could spread beyond its borders were greatly heightened this week when Syrian forces shot down a Turkish jet. The Turkish government has sent troops to the border and threatened retaliation. A little earlier today, I asked the Turkish ambassador to Britain how his country now views its neighbour. The event uh, has changed our perception of threat because now uh, we consider Syria as a hostile uh, country and this has resulted, of course, with the modification of our rules of engagement. And what does that mean? So I think uh, the Syrian aircrafts uh, from now on uh, should be very careful in approaching to the Turkish airspace. They will be shot down? Um, I think they should be very careful. The shooting down of the Turkish plane uh, is uh, entirely against international law and it has happened in international airspace. Uh, this uh, shows that uh, Syria is no more a friendly country for Turkey. The Syrians say it was in their airspace, though, don't they? No, this, is, uh, this has been explained uh, by the uh, experts and uh, by all the diagrams, and uh, we have also recorded radar uh, emissions uh, and uh, radio uh, emissions, uh, which proves that uh, it happened in the international space. The NATO also uh, gave uh, support and uh, expressed solidarity with Turkey. Can you see Turkey ever acting unilaterally? If the United Nations Security Council uh, doesn't achieve a, a solidarity and a united decision, then uh, perhaps some kind of collective act uh, would be necessary. If the killing goes on, how does Turkey feel about the idea of a buffer zone along its border? Would you commit troops to that? It will never be a unilateral action. Uh, it will always be in compliance with the decisions of the international community uh, and uh, within the boundaries of the international law. Uh, if a collective action of the international community is decided upon, then Turkey, of course, will be ready to take part in it. If Syria continues to ignore international pressure, what does Turkey want to happen? If Syria continues to reject uh, the uh, expectations uh, or the realization of the expectations of the international community, the international community has to come forward with a stronger uh, message uh, that uh, it would not allow the Syrian regime uh, to behave like this anymore. Uh, the meetings, uh, which are probably going to happen one after another, uh, are uh, very important. Uh, all these meetings uh, will uh, continue to give a very strong message to the Syrian establishment, to the Syrian regime, that uh, the international community is not going to tolerate anymore. But isn't that the problem? There is no coercive psychology if President Assad can sit in Damascus knowing the Russians don't support military action. That is very frightening because uh, time is passing and uh, unfortunately uh, that kind of an attitude is helping uh, President Assad and his establishment and the Syrian regime is continuing the atrocities and uh, violence. I think that has to be stopped. The Turkish ambassador to London.